Yo, what's going on? Uh, next up, we got Gotham Knights gameplay, another gameplay of two high level Red Hood builds. Um, I did react to the one for Batgirl, but I ended up just scrapping the video because it was extremely mid. I did not enjoy it at all. I barely said anything. I was just like trying to find anything that made it look good, but it, it was just bad. Um, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt of the fact that it was the first 15 or 16 minutes of the game. So, like, slow start, I guess. Um, the fighting just seemed mad, slow-paced, and I don't know, man. The other the Batman games weren't slow, and neither were the Spider-Man games. So, I was expecting more fast-paced stuff but they were like really slow and the dude playing was also garbage he <laughs> like you could tell that he wasn't he was doing stuff just to show off certain parts of the game that weren't really meant to be shown off like he was just he was giving the enemies extra uh tries to like swing at him so that he could show a different type of dodge but it, it just wasn't working hopefully see something better within this four minutes of gameplay gotham knights may have four characters to choose from but in truth there are dozens of ways to make them fit your chosen play style in this video we're going to show you just this with gameplay of two completely different high level red hood builds i bet we made the decision the gotham knights collectively were working together and they, they were reflecting this notion of the bat family so our red hood we wanted him to be aligned with the intentions of the rest of the family in that sense he's still an angrier person especially at the start of the story but we wanted them all to be on board with the general notion that we are in walking the path of batman after his death all of them are on board with the non-lethal strategy. So the marksman tree is kind of self-explanatory. It's really about dealing more damage at range. Red Hood is our most range-focused character out of the Gotham Knights. So a lot of his abilities focus on, I have guns with non-lethal rounds and I would like to make them as damaging as possible while remaining non-lethal. The marksman build. So you can play as the same people. Hurt in uh the missions interesting there that's it this is it that's how that works and then the bikes just that be spawning like that the brawler skill tree is about melee combat but more importantly it's about powering up the fact that Red Hood is our largest character and he's got the best grab and throw mechanics in Gotham Knights. That's a really, you know, sort of brutal hand-to-hand -hand focused skill tree. So if you're into that style of play, it's a great place to invest early to get the most out of Red Hood. Right. <laughs> right. All right, that was pretty cool. But you see what I mean? Like, why why does he flip in slow motion? This big... Yo. <laughs> Brawl again, bitch, bro. What the hell? Hey, look. More scumbag looking for a beat. I said Red Hood's the biggest character then go show her, bro. She ought to be like like 7'5, dog. What the hell? I'm 
unloads his entire clip into the damn wall. Ugh, missed. Like, bro, come on, man. That was another that thing. Was just a taste of the different ways you can build out your chosen hero in Gotham Knights. Stay tuned <laughs> later this week where we'll be digging into skill trees and how they work. Yeah, man. For more from our just Gotham a taste. Knights IGM first, check out the first 16 minutes of gameplay or how the developers built their Gotham City on 400 years of history. Um, what was I going to say? I think I was going to say that was another thing in the 16 minutes of gameplay for Batgirl. The NPC dialogue was so corny, bro. Like that shit was unbelievably cringe. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I doubt that there's enough time. And if, even if there is enough time, I doubt that they will fix it or, like, add more dialogue for the grunts and stuff. But, yeah, it felt like they just, it felt like they weren't, I really hope they weren't given a script. Because if they were given a script and that's what it said on there, it was like, god damn, bro, who the fuck wrote this? But, um, hmm. Does anyone be honest, bro? <laughs> like, I really do like all of these characters. I like DC. Uh, I liked the idea of this game, but like, come on now. Does this look better than the Avengers game? Because from what I'm seeing, me personally, I, I don't think that this looks better. Um... But the fact that it ain't out yet just means that it got potential. I mean, they could definitely work in some updates, some DLC reworks, <laughs> reimagine the entire game after a month that it's been out. Like, there's a lot that they could do, but um, I don't know. Maybe not every game has to be game of the year you know what i'm saying not every game needs to be the best this is probably just one of them uh one of the times where it's just a game not for me i guess because i do not plan on getting this but y'all can let me know down in the comments what y'all think of this gameplay if y'all are excited for the game anything y'all have any feelings towards this game um, if you enjoyed my reaction, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and share, and I shall see you on the next one.